Damn. What's up guys, welcome back to the vlogs. It's me, your girl, my name's Matilda. If this is your first time here and you've never seen me in your life before, Hello, what's up? I'm a mess. I'm very scatterbrained and it's been a really, really long week. I've had exams, I've had things to do. If you keep up with my Snapchat, you would know that I've been at the library until 1 a.m. for multiple nights in a row and I've been doing it since last week. So if you don't have me on Snapchat, go ahead and add me right there. That's a thing you can do. Let's get on with this video, shall we? So in this vlog, a number of things happened. The first of which is me showing off my last piece of merch for a while because I don't have money to buy merch. But this is the last piece of merch that finally came in the mail. It's not my reaction to opening it when I first got it in the mail because I forgot to film that. But it is me showing it off. And if you want one too, go cop some Cody Co merch. This is free promo for him right here. Why am I like this? Okay, I don't think I vlogged when I got this in the mail. But here is my last piece of merch. It is the Cody Co Long Sleeve Influence Tee. Um... And it's super cute, super comfy. I'm such a fan. The next thing that happens is I try a selection of snacks sent to me by Grays. Grays is a delicious, organic, healthy snack service. It is a monthly subscription. You can get a selection of eight snacks, I think it is, and you know, you can switch up your preferences. If you don't like a snack, let them know, and they'll give you snacks that you will love, and they'll give you snacks that you're gonna try. They sent me a selection of four snacks, and they also sent me a promo code for you to use, so you can get your first and fifth box for free. So go cop those free snacks. I'm just saying that it was pretty worth it. I figured out what I liked, what I didn't like, and you guys get to see me do that with my friends. Yes, I have friends. The box they sent me made for some really good study snacks while I was pulling those late nights in the library this week. So thank you so much to Grace for sending me a free box. I really appreciate it. Remember to use this promo code if you want your first and fifth box free. I got a box. It's from Grays, and it has food in it, and now I'm going to eat it. I don't know how to say any of these. This is Baobab and Raspberry Clusters with apple pieces and pumpkin seeds. Here, Karen, you wanna try this? This smells weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is like rabbit food. That tastes weird. That's fruity. It's supposed to be apple. It kind of tastes like if you grabbed wood chips and you put a little, little cinnamon on it. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like nothingness. This is cacao and orange. Oh, you and I don't like oranges. Please stop. Please stop filming me. <laughs> Wait. I'm confused. <laughs> you finally opened it. <laughs> yeah. You wanna try it? Um, Should they get a video? Um Okay, what is I don't know if I wanna try that. Okay, this is cacao and orange with dates and raw almonds. So this is orange chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try that. I'll eat the almonds. This tastes like a fruit snack. Nope. The texture's weird. <laughs> Hickory smoked barbecue. Barbecue peas, hickory smoked almonds, and roasted corn. How are you better at this than me? <laughs> the flavor is like a fruit snack. The texture is kind of rubbery and sticky. Catherine's gonna do all my reviews now. It's fine. <laughs> this one's good. I feel like it's like stuck in my teeth. How I feel. I don't like peas, but I'll eat the other stuff. Them corns is crunchy. If you want to be in the shot, just no, say. <laughs> Here, try this one. This reminds me of like unpopped popcorn. Right? Like the kernels. Yeah. I'm a fan. 10 out of 10 would recommend this one. The last one is chocolate pretzel. Lightly salted pretzel sticks with a cocoa and hazelnut dip. There's no way this can be bad. Oh, that was not as ASMR pleasing as I thought it would. This stuff is good. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay, so on the screen is going to be a promo code for you to get your first and fifth free Grace box. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day. This part of the vlog is over. The last thing that happens in this vlog is I show you how to make my breakfast bowls. These are my go-to breakfast bowls when I want a 
satisfying quick breakfast. I like this breakfast because I can leave it on the stove and I know nothing bad will happen. I won't burn anything really. I won't, nothing bad will happen. No kitchen disasters whatsoever. So I hope you guys enjoy this little recipe that I made from scratch. I crafted this myself. I didn't read a recipe for this anywhere. I do make this breakfast bowl a couple times a week. So if you're interested in seeing how I make my breakfast bowls, keep watching this video. What's up guys? Welcome to my kitchen. Sorry I look like such a mess. I just got out the shower. I've been making these breakfast bowls for the past few months ever since I started living by myself and this is because they're filling, they're yummy, they're they satisfy pretty much every craving I have in the morning. So I'm going to show you how I make them today. What you're going to need is some potatoes. I'm going to use sweet potatoes. Sometimes I use my baby golden potatoes, baby yellow potatoes, and they're really good. Sometimes when I'm feeling frisky, I do a mix of both, but you can use whatever potatoes you like. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to wash these and I'm going to peel them because I find that they peel better when they're wet, but I don't know. Okay, now that I have my potatoes peeled, I'm just going to cube them up. And then we're gonna toss them in a pot of water and boil them for about 10 minutes so they're nice and soft and cooked, but still firm enough so we can fry them up. Some other ingredients that I use in my breakfast bowl is one egg, some ground chicken, and then I do a little bit of Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. So what you're gonna wanna do is pour all the potatoes into your pan, and then I usually heat up a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of oil. And then if you feel like that's not enough, keep adding. I have no um, capability of estimating how much oil you're going to need. So just fry them up. And then once most of them look like they're fried, you're going to go ahead and add your ground chicken and mix it up. And then I season my breakfast bowls with a little bit of ground white pepper, black pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of salt. And then you're just gonna mix it up until it's nice and evenly distributed. Once the chicken is cooked, you're gonna go ahead and crack your egg into the bowl and mix it up real good. And then turn off the heat because eggs cook really fast. And then once that is pretty much done, you can go ahead and add in your cheese and your breakfast bowl will be ready. I put some cheese over the top of my breakfast bowl. And I know it looks not particularly cute, but uh, I Instagram them or I Snapchat them all the time. And I think they're really good. I think taste over, you know, presentation any day. If you're my friend, come over. I'll make you this breakfast bowl. It's really good. Oh, it's the spot. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Talk to Matilda. And I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye. Uh. Yeah.